Whenever a major river finally reaches its destination, there's an area of great resolve, of exhalation, of release. The mighty Murray River drains 2,500 kilometres of pent-up energy and expectation and gush into the Southern Ocean right here. And such a massive release is bound to leave a feeling of satisfaction, delights and calm, like right here at the Kurong. The Kurong wetlands are an immense string of interconnected saltwater lagoons located at the end of the Murray River near Gulwa, just over an hour's drive south of Adelaide. As far as significant national treasures go, this is without doubt one of Australia's most important ecosystems, providing vital habitat for over 240 species of birds. This is quite literally the border between the fresh water of the Murray River and the salt water of the Southern Ocean, and it's why these birds linger here. The freshwater fish wash through the lock, and they're either going to perish in the salt water or get grabbed up by the birds. And for over 55 years, the easiest way to explore this fascinating environment has been aboard a Kurong adventure cruise. Today, life along the brackish banks of the Kurong Lagoon is thriving. But this is a delicate ecosystem, and after 42 years on the water, skipper Bain Pedler has seen it all. We've heard a lot about the not-so-good news story upriver of the floods and the devastation, but that's a good news story down here, isn't it? Good news story down here because it's given it a whole new life. You know, the, the fresh water flying through here has uh, made the bird life uh, improve and uh, fishing and all that sort of stuff. Is this the best you've ever seen? Oh, no, I've been here for a while. I mean, uh, 1974 was the last the big flood down here, and it was higher than this, apparently. It's devastating for the folks upstream but it's all quite necessary sometimes to get the river to flush through and out to sea and flush everything out. Well, it's fantastic now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There's wildlife it's everywhere. Where we are Can you see the soul of light we're making? The closer you get to the mouth of the Murray, the Coorong gradually unwraps itself, gifting you with more to experience. This is it. This is where the Murray meets the Southern Ocean. It's quite a moment, really, when you consider it's come 2,500 kilometres, bringing all that nutrient to three states, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, and disgorging itself here. It's quite a feeling, really. The mouth of the Murray is an unmistakably elemental place to experience, wild with life and landscape. To the south, beyond the mouth of the Murray, the coastal dunes of the Kurong National Park are easily explored on foot. Prior to European settlement, this region was one of the most densely populated areas of Australia due to its abundance of food and water. Welcome here to the sea country of the Tanganakald. And to this day, Ngurindjeri tribal men like Mark Kulamatri make a point of welcoming people to their country. As the smoke goes over you, as it blesses you, you took a bit of it, and it took a bit of you. So therefore, you too belong to country. And Mark believes in a way we can all look after the country we belong to. What we have is a system called a Nyati system. It is a system that is based on almost like a totem. But the Nyati is so much stronger. It means we have responsibility for but one thing. If we all look after one animal, one marine life, one plant, it might be the kangaroo, it might be save the koala, it might be an insect, yeah. a spider, a, a, a snake. When people connect with one thing, we have, you know, 30 million nyachis within Australia and 30 million people working together in oneness. That the whole system is so related, by looking after one, you can't help by looking after someone else's nyachi. All of a sudden, we have a better future and a better world. Possibly the best way to absorb the true wonder of an area is to do so whilst cruising upon a river. 
There's something about the gentle nature of a relaxing nautical meander which frees the chatter of the mind. But then to find yourself on the land, in the environment, with a descendant of the traditional people of the land, imparting such sense, I feel destined to sleep like a just burped babe, mind fully refreshed.